Yo, what up, guys? It's Chugs, and in this video, I'm gonna show you what I purchased real quick because I'm so hyped for the PS5. Comes out like in two days. If you haven't pre ordered one yet or ordered one yet, you're gonna be able to on the 12th. I'm not too sure what time. I don't know if it's in the morning, like at 12.01 in the morning or like in the afternoon. Just keep refreshing that button on Best Buy, Target, Walmart, Amazon, uh, GameStop, whatever you go to, and hopefully you can get one. So, Let's cut to the chase. Let me show you what I got, and we'll do a little quick review or first thoughts about it. So, you guys, there's nothing here, right? Nothing here. One. Two. Three. Ow. Ow. What the? F Ow. Ow. That wasn't supposed to happen. Ow. Yo, what up guys, it's Chugs, and in this video, I'm gonna show you the PS5 controller of what you're getting with the PS5 console. I couldn't wait, I went to Best Buy and got it because they had one in stock. Ready to the unbox, and you can tell how excited I am. So this is it right here. Damn, it looks good. I mean, not only does it look good, it feels amazing. I can't wait for the, the PS5 to come out so I can try the adaptive triggers and uh, the dual sense, how it vibrates throughout the controller. Man, like the quality compared to the old PS4 controller is like night and day. Like you can see how it has that flat look to it on the front where the D-pad and button is. And it's like a lot of different angles. This on the other hand is just one piece. I mean, it looks like one piece. Doesn't stop. Just flows together. Look at that. That is... So sexy. So that's the back of the controller. The top. You guys probably already seen this on a lot of YouTube channels. But I just had to get it myself. Oh my god, look at that. Like that's going from a kid controller to like a professional controller. Toy and not a toy. <laughs> Look at the back. Let's compare the back again. Well, I kind of model this controller. I have a, a back cover with paddles. It's hard to see. One right there, one right here. I'm hoping they release a PS5 controller with paddles. If not, I'm going to have to stick with bumper, jumper, tactical flip, um, where I jump with L2. If you play Call of Duty, you might know this, but I jump with L2, and then ADS with L1, and shoot with R1, and I use my tacticals with X, and my grenades are still with R2. But at that it is so nice it, this one looks like it's just one piece all put together besides the front part where it's black this you can actually pull out and change it out with a different color or just paint that yourself but guys just the feel of this controller is amazing like i know i'm not playing anything yet it doesn't come out for two days but god it feels so good i'm expecting this to sell out just because everyone's gonna be you know hyped just like i am the only thing I don't have is the, I think it's the PS5 camera, which I don't honestly, I, I don't need that right now. I'm using an actual camera to stream and all that good stuff. But if you're not, in a, if you're not looking at the market for a controller yet, I say just get one. So you have, you know, one for backup, or if you have another friend to play with, this is totally worth it. This is for 70 bucks, man. This feels amazing. Well, yeah, guys, that was a quick opinion of, of the PS5 controller. Two more days, guys, we're getting our hands on. I can't wait. Hope you guys are excited too. Like, subscribe, game. Peace.